Hello, welcome back. I'm on a day trip today, out in the Moore Mountains. I'm currently sitting right bang on the very top of Sleeve Comeda, which is slightly over 760 meters. So pretty high for me. <laughs> um, I think Air Eagle's about 770 meters, and um, I'm not sure if I've been much higher than that before. But uh, this is part of a much bigger walk today as well. I've almost five kilometers walked now at this stage and uh, the total walk is uh, 16 kilometers with 1200 meters of climbing in total. And uh, I feel like I've done most of that climbing already. It was a real tough slog to get up to the top of here. Um, pretty much from when you leave the car park, you're climbing straight away up through the woods and uh, out onto the mountain and then up onto Sleeve Shan, I think it was called. And then the last section up here to Comet, I was actually relatively straightforward after all that. Um, I'm just sitting a few hundred meters away from the Morn Wall. I've never seen the Morn Wall before. This is my first time in the Morns. And it's absolutely awesome. It really is. Um, it's a real, it's an incredible feat. If you don't know what the Morn Wall is, just have a look it up um, on Wikipedia. But it's absolutely amazing. Um, over in the distance here behind me, on in that direction, just behind the the cairn there, you can sleeve, see Sleeve Donard. And that is the last peak of the day. Um, Sleeve Donard is the highest mountain in Ulster. And I'm pretty sure that definitely will be the highest I've ever been. So looking forward to getting up to that later on this afternoon. Thanks for coming with me today. I hope you enjoy what I can show you of the Moor Mountains. And between huffing and puffing and panting. In terms of the weather today, I couldn't have asked for a better day today. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's quarter past 10 here in the morning now and I'm in a t-shirt and I'm absolutely roasted in a t-shirt. Uh, bit of cloud, bit of sun peeking through and it's given the sun to come out a wee bit later on. But it's lovely and warm and calm. There's hardly a breath of wind. Like I'm 760 metres and there's hardly a breath. It's unreal. So uh, I'm really glad I did it this weekend. I was supposed to do it last weekend and the um, there was a storm on Sunday which put me off. So no, this has worked out just perfect. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to. I hope I'm going to enjoy it anyway.
So, having taken half the morning to reach Sleeve Comeda, the first of the peaks, that was uh, a very short walk into Sleeve Cora. Uh, quite a steep drop down from Sleeve Comeda down along the Morn Wall. Um, when I got to the wall, I decided not to cross it, which was a mistake. I should have went over the, the stile, I should have used the stile and went over the other side because when I got as far as Sleeve Cora, ended up having to scramble over the the wall and that's uh it's fairly high it's it's no easy wall to climb i'll tell you and uh so rookie mistake there so uh next hill is sleeve naglock so uh navigation's dead easy on these next two couple of peaks as uh you just basically follow the wall and i'm on the right side of the wall this time uh although sleeve corridor was easy absolutely beautiful views from the top down over Ben Crom Reservoir and uh, across the rest of the Morns which I don't know the names apart from I think the pointy one across the way there just above the lake is called Sleeve Bay. have no brief look at the map so um, I wasn't really enjoying the morning I was feeling very unfit coming up that first hill that steep, steep climb up from uh, Newcastle. It was a real killer. But uh, once I got to the top of that first hill and started climbing up towards Sleeve Comeda, I kind of got my wind again. And uh, this bit I'm absolutely loving. It's just beautiful. And if, if the rest of it's crap, this bit was more than worth the day. Really, really glad I come now. Really glad. Just over halfway now, and uh, not feeling too bad. Um, for a bit of climbing left to do yet, right enough. Um, was not the problem with this route, but the way this route is, a lot of elevation you gain early in the walk, you lose again, and then you have to gain it back. Plus, because I'm going up Donard have to gain back a bit more again. Currently walking along the brandy pad. Love the names around here. Um, it reminds me of uh, the Lake District, the way everything has a special name. Um, from what I'm aware of, the brandy pad is named because it was an old smuggling route. Where they used to smuggle brandy, I'm assuming, across the moorns and down to the coast or possibly from the coast and up over the moorns inland. But I just love the name of it anyway. Uh, the brandy pad for me started at Hare's Gap. Another great name. 
and uh, Hairs Gap is a bit of a crossroads in the morns I think. Seems to be a lot of different tracks converged there um, and there's uh, quite a good crossing, style crossing of the wall as well. So a few kilometres now along the brandy pad will bring me about halfway up Donard I think it is. But well, it brings me onto the slopes of Donard anyway. And then I pull up to the top up there. And that will be the last claim of the day. Don't know if I'm looking forward to this bit or not. But I've had my lunch anyway. Uh, stopped and had my lunch to stop asleep sleeping o'clock. Uh, it was a nice wee breeze. I had a sharp edge to it right enough. So I had to put on my jumper and put on my coat just to stop me getting a chill. But it was very, very nice sitting up there. Could have sat up there all day. It was lovely. But anyway, <laughs> couldn't sit there all day. So it's onwards now, and uh, as I say, along the brandy pad until I meet the wall again, part way up Donard. Oh, that's sleep done, hard done, and uh, most of my walk done as well. Just making my way back down now from Donard down um, the Glen River, I think it's called the Glen River Path. Uh, 14.7 kilometers done. Um, the total walk's about 16 kilometers, and so far I'm on slightly over seven hours. Which, to be honest, I'm really pleased about, because that's a tough walk. And uh, definitely the hardest walk I've ever done. Um, in terms of, not so much the distance, but it's a combination of the distance and the elevation. Uh, Donard is officially the highest I've ever been in Ireland. It's the, the highest summit in Ulster, at 849 metres. 
and uh, the only one that's come close to that I was up in Wheel Rea in Connacht which is the highest summit in Connacht years ago must be nearly 20 years ago now at this stage and that's the only one that comes close to it so that's officially my highest summit in Ireland and I have a feeling it's also my highest summit ever um, I have been up a couple of mountains in Scotland when we were on holidays a few years back but I don't think any of them were as tall as Donard um, Donard itself actually wasn't overly enjoyable it's a bit of a slog it's just steep 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 the whole way up and it's um, the path is good but it's, it's um, very much a managed path and there's an awful lot of people about today as well um, it's a bank holiday here in the north um, for the Queen's funeral it doesn't look like an awful lot of people uh, spent much time watching the Queen's funeral but I know uh, they still got the day off for it I suppose so there's a lot of families up on the hill today so it was quite noisy I had quite a nice walk all day and then very noisy um, when I reached the wall just below Donard and then quite a lot of people on Donard itself so it was quite crowded not much chance to relax so that's why I haven't done any much filming since I was up there got to the bottom of Donard stopped for my second lunch which was well needed I was starving again and since then I've been following this path down which is also very much a managed path easy enough walking but not the most exciting in the world and again lots of people still coming up on the hill even though it's three o'clock in the afternoon uh, just met one guy with his arm in a plaster cast absolute craziness but anyway um, and there's a good few people coming down obviously getting passed by some people coming down a few people out fast packing today which surprised me um, Oh, far too young to do fit. <laughs> I wish I had the energy to do it. I wish I had the fitness to do it. But anyway, so as I say, I've about a kilometre, maybe a kilometre and a half left to do all downhill now, back to where I've parked in Donard Park. So, if you've made it this far in the video, so I'm just going to probably wrap it up here. And say thanks to everyone again for watching. Um, it's been a challenging walk this one for me. Really, really glad to get it done. And thanks for coming along and joining me. Cheers.